WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here, and this is Friday, October the 29th, the last day of the week, the last day of the month. Oh, what an important uh, session is going to be. We're looking at the Dow that had made that peak D. Remember, we always talking about the Chapman wave methodology. The objective is to get you from a buy signal to a buy mode, going all the way to a D. That's where other things can happen. That's where you make some decisions. We've got that peak D, but wait a minute. There's some P. So the Dow is up 14 points right now after being uh, down a little bit earlier on. The S&P is down 12, having been down about 22 or 23 points earlier on. So it's come back quite nicely. So this could, in fact, turn out to be a double top, a Chapman Wave Peak C1, C2. But we're not going to talk about that until we see what happens. 4598.53 is the uh, all-time high. Uh, yesterday it failed to get there by about a point. Today it's at 45.84, down 11. Still the day is young. We'll see what happens by the end of the day. Can it get there? Uh, it doesn't have to be today. It could be uh, early next week, but certainly 45.21, or 45.40, I'm sorry, will be key support in the shorter term. Uh, we're going to the QQQ. Exactly the same thing happened here. You made a high 383.15 at peak C. There should be a D somehow or other. We'll have to see what happens there, but it's down to that 382. It needs to get to 383.16 to start that leg D. IWM Russell 2000, we're talking about a, a rally within that halfway mark. Uh, it needs to get a 228.24, up 14 cents. It needs to get to the 230.50 area or higher. That'll be good action, but so far it's just stuck in a range. Gold, we're looking at gold down uh, 28 points at 1774 just keeps doing that, having the sudden Friday sell-offs. And we're talking about 1774, as I said before, it's in a range. Um, it's still holding pretty well within that range. What's the dollar doing? The dollar is now up a little bit. It's up 31 ticks at 93.98. Still making lower lows and lower highs. You're going to be watching this dollar very closely. It's crude oil that we want to focus on. Crude oil <clears throat> is down just 39 cents at 82.40. If crude oil closes, I said before, under 82, um, that's going to suggest that next week could see some softening in the crude oil prices. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a moment. Hope you can stay. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Have a, have a good uh, Halloween. And we'll see you Monday. And check out both people's day. Be back in a few moments. Hope you can stay.